What's up guys, welcome to All Things Men. Just gonna do a review of my new bow, uh, 2016 Obsession DEFCON M7. I have a hunting trip coming up this year. It's gonna be my first time uh, trying to do some elk hunting in Colorado. So I wanted to up my gear a little. I'm coming from a PSE Stinger 3G, which I think was a decent uh, starter bow, but for a chance uh, at an elk and all the money that gets spent on something like that, I just had the best gear I could going out there. So I got it. I picked up this uh, DEFCON. It uh, has the seven inch brace height, so I, a little more forgiving. And still, uh, 347 I think is the rated IBO for a seven inch brace height, and then it's 32 and a half uh, axle to axle. So it's very forgiving, very dead in the hand, quiet, uh, has a crazy back wall. You just hit the back wall, boom, there's no movement. Uh, the valley's real nice. Once you release, you barely hear anything. There's no vibration. It's just, uh, I'm really enjoying it. So I'll let you guys take a look at it here. I got it in the, excuse me, I got it in the Cryptic. Typhon, I guess that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, but it looks awesome. It's like a black and gray camo-ish deal, and then I went with my bow bling here. It's all accented red, red cams, uh, red and black strings. Um, just real nice. Uh, I, I went with the QAD Ultra Rest HDX, and... Um, and an AXT 5 pin sight. So I'm not too familiar with AXT, but it seems to be doing very well for me so far. So I'm going to give it a shot and see what I can do here. So let's uh, let's go outside and fire a few rounds and uh, come back in and finish up. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is a beautiful bow, and I'm using the Black Eagle Carnivores .001 350 spine. Uh, I'm really enjoying these arrows, so we'll see. We'll see how they hold up out there. Still debating on my broadheads. Uh, I was looking at the the Rage Hypodermics, but a lot of people were saying to stay away from the expandables with the elk, especially. So. I'm looking at a few different things. Uh, if you have any recommendations, just put them below in the comments. All the gear that I get from now on, getting ready for this trip, I'll be trying to review that if I can. So, I got, got some new boots in. Uh, I was recommended the Solomon, so I went with the Solomon. Went with this Bushnell uh, rangefinder. It's the Scout 1000 DX with the with the arc which is the angle range compensation which apparently that's a uh, very important uh, for sh hunting at different elevations uh, you know let's say you're at, on the top of a hill shooting at a 45 degree angle down like this your arrow actually you actually need the range of this straight distance but of course an angle like this is going to be a exaggerated range if you don't have the arc compensation and uh, the rangefinder is able to actually figure out that that angle and adjust and give you the the straight distance here so uh, 
I, I've, I live in South Texas, so I haven't really got to try it on the elevation, but what I have um, seen, it's, it's very accurate on a flat distance. So we'll try to try that out here and uh, review that soon. So as other info comes in and other gear comes in, I'll definitely do some more reviews. If you like this info, uh, please hit subscribe and leave any questions or comments below. Thanks a lot.